Hey, it's Josh, aka Spyglass. Just wanted to do a quick demonstration of the first sound I've been dialing in with Get Good Drums Cali Oversized. So, um, this is going to be real quick, real simple. Um, for hardware, I'm just going to be going from the ProMod San Dimas into a, an Earthquaker Devices tone job. That's just an always on pedal for me. Then I'm <clears throat> going from there into the Cranbourne Audio Camden preamp into a Focusrite. And that's really all there is to it. Um, if you just want like a reference tone of clean sound, here is neck in a single coil position. But because we're going to be playing heavy, of course we want to go to uh, Bridge Humbucker, which I hate the clean sound of, but here it is anyway. No. Alright, let's jump into this. I know it says Soldano because I've been messing with things, uh, but I'm actually not using the near old DSP Soldano. I'm using Amped Roots 5034 Fluff by ML Sound Lab. And the reason I picked this is because if you don't know what ML Sound Lab is, um, they make a lot of good amp and cab sims, but this one specifically is free. So go get it no matter what, just because it's free. Um, as you can tell by looking at it, it's got like a 5150 high gain thing. It's named Fluff after um, Fluff from Riff, uh, Riff Beards and Gear. And so, um, yeah, it's got several presets here. Um, it's got, you, you know, a, a pedal board similar to like neural DSP stuff. Um, but the rest of their stuff is cool and it's about on par price wise. But this one is free, so of course I went and got it. And so I thought I'd use it just to tell you that information as well. Um, I have an EQ because I was messing with it, but I'll turn that off for now. Um, another thing is you can see it's got a cab simulator. You can't mess with it, but just to give you a sense of um, how the uh, amp sounds, I'll have the IR on. Um, so when I was making this, the whole idea was drop D. It's one of, if not the most common heavy tuning. So that's what I was basing the sound off of. And you can see I have a left channel and a right channel, just pan 32% both ways. And then I used uh, different versions of the Cali Oversize to get new sounds. The Amped Roots is the same. The Amp Sim is the same on both. So anyway, here's just the Amp Sim on its own. Pretty heavy. So let's turn their cab off and turn on the Cali Oversized. So I think what I did for this was I picked a preset and then just modified it. Like this may have had two slots filled. I changed a little bit of that and then added a third one. So this is it up front with the 57, guttural with the 57 and detailed with the Fredman. Um, and you can see they're mostly on the bright side. I turned this one down a touch, uh, but the panning is all centered. So really simple. Um, so with the amped roots and the Cali oversized. Sounds a little um, heavy on the high end. Um, and maybe lacking on the low end, like it definitely cuts through a lot. Uh, it's got a lot of bite to it, you might say. But it's because it's meant to be complementary to the other channel. So let's take a look at that. So again, this is the same. And uh, in this version, uh, I have thick in the middle with the KM84, and you can see I turned it down to dark uh, all the way. Uh, and then, um, Pretty much everything else is the same. Um, this is turned down a little bit on the dark side, um, but uh, here's how that one sounds on its own. So right away you can hear it's heavier on the low end and not so bright. So that's with thick, and then of course the other one was guttural. Um, so real quick, I'll play them separately again so you can hear them back to back, and then I'll put them together, which is where the magic happens.
um, because it's very common for people to put EQ on stuff. Why don't I just throw some EQ on that I was messing with? You can see I boosted the high and the low and a little bit in the mid range. I may have differed where like the, the mid frequency just because they sound different. So they need to be treated different. So here they both are with some EQ. That's really where I measure how good a distorted tone sound is. If I'm in drop D, I'll just hit those bottom three strings open and let the lowest notes that it's got ring out in that power chord. And that really gets you that like, mm. <laughs> So there you go.